Second thing, you see us rock on it and you see us talk about it. Well, we didn't do it. But we showed you what it's all about. Today, we're going to show you the final product. We're going to show you what it looks like when the plumber comes in and sets all the fixtures, gets everything ready to go for the homeowner. The only thing not done in here, well, they haven't laid the carpet yet. But the tile guys come in and tile the showers, tile the floors, all the way around. So, y'all take a walk through here. I'm going to hear a risk from that. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm coming. As you can see, I'm in the shower. Well, I gotta tell you, I do love this shower. Got a big glass window here, and the big glass window here overlooking the Roman tub. Pretty freaking neat. So, the shower here, I like this. You've got a tile in here, so this is not just a plastic enclosure. You've got a tile floor, which I really love. It's not just a pan. Well, it's this. This thing is about. Four foot by five foot, so you got about 20 square feet. You got a bench in there, you got a shelf in there, and like I said, you got a shelf over here with a window. And I really do, I like this. The only thing I don't like about it is with this thing a shower, I would want either another shower head or possibly a rain shower head to get the options in there. But this is a good looking shower. So let's stand out here and look at the tub. There's something about it that I really, really like. So my favorite thing about this is the doors on it. It makes everything accessible. And that is so smart. Because like I said, I'm not a room inside like this, but there's no way to access anything under it unless I try to peel that off. And then if it breaks, I've got to replace it, rebuild it, do something different. Now, the way mine is done, mine butts up with the water lines up against the head wall. So I could cut an access panel down the other end if I need to get in there. Great thing to do, but you know, not something you want to have to do later. So I really do. I love the way that they built this. And then here, well, you've got the toilet room. Great thing to have in every bathroom. I think this would make these bathrooms bigger and bigger. If you look, there's quite a bit of room in here. I would love to see the idea of a hiss and curve toilet. That way, there's two separate ones and two separate closed off areas. And then you've got a lemon closet. So, neat little bathroom here. Great master bathroom, great bathroom here. I like the fact that they're both uh, lavatory tops, uh, camera tops. And then you've got a spot down here where a lady can sit down, do her makeup, maybe buy a mirror, have a mirror on the shelf, anything like that. But I do, I really like the way that this bathroom is laid out. Now, still got some work to do in here, nothing crazy, but to me, this is a very nice looking master bathroom. And then of course you've got a huge walk-in closet. Great time to have. So guys, here's another thing too. I love the tile, the marble tile here in front of the fireplace. We've got the gas pipe valve right here. So we've seen how they pop it in from behind. So we know everything going on here. We know that there should be a switch over here. Absolutely. To turn this thing on. Love that the gas is on yet. I'm not gonna flip or anything. You still got cardboard in here, everything is not set up. But and this is neat, you just come over and hit the switch. Now, it's also wired so you can hang a TV up there. There's a lot of good things you could do in these big open living rooms like this. Great way to do it. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. Now, the dishwasher's not set, but it's quite kind of left open for it. You got the sink already installed, and everything is on. Check it back there in the bathroom while I go. And your stove top sitting right here. Now, the cool thing about it, I love the way they put the gas line. Over under another cabinet. That way, when you stick the stove top in here, literally, you just come off there, hook up to the regulator, connect right to it. So, again, man, a very nice layout. You've got the ice maker box where the refrigerator is. All you're coming right under the sink right here to come up and catch your dishwasher. Man, this is a very nice setup. I love the big open areas, as y'all can see. Okay, so here we are. Got just a little Bathroom off of a bedroom, toilet, lavatory, tub and shower, all built in. Again, I like the fact that they're using real tile, that they're doing different things like that. It's not just a little plastic fiberglass tub that they're sticking in and screwing to the walls. They're actually making these look really, really good. And I tell you, I kind of like it. And chrome's coming back. Look at it. All the fixtures are fell all the way through. Okay, so here we are in the Jackson Joe bathroom. We've got the lavatory here. I love this because you, you've got a lot of different ones. You've got, well, those are 
linen closet right here, which is right. Then you step over into the toilet room, where there's the toilet and the tub that you're going to share with somebody in the other bedroom. So let's step over there and take a look. So as you see, you got the toilet here, tub here, and a little bit smaller laboratory area. But we got last week closet right here, and with the tub and toilet here for both of them to share, nice little Jack and Jill bathroom. Great to have. So walk into the laundry room. Hey, you can see they've already got the trim plate on. One thing I like with the laundry room is it's big. They've got real high ceilings. They've got shelves up here. They've got a rod to hang stuff when you got your dryer in. You got a shelf right here above the washing machine. The thing I'm not sure I like about this shelf is if you have a washing machine on a pedestal, you're liable to get up into this area. I don't know, might have plumber pretty high. But you've got your trim plate already on for your washer box. One thing that I love that they're doing nowadays, the way they're putting the box in for the dryer vent like this, I thought this at my house. You've got the dryer vent all wadded up behind the dryer. We're here, you put it on, slide it out, hook it up and slide it right back in place. It's kind of spot there. It's got an enclosure there where your dryer vent can go back in and be in. And you've got an electrical outlet right here behind you, so now you can set up an iron in here coming into all your arms. It's a cool little setup like this. Of course, you've got the clean out in case your washing machine never clogs up. Pretty cool. And here we are at the powder bath. Just the toilet room out. It's weird, right? You can get out of here and see. Got quarter turn angle stops on here, flexible connectors, PVC traps, mowing faucets. Hmm. Niagara high efficiency toilets. I'm actually doing this thing right, making everything look good. Y'all still there? Man. I didn't even have to do much. A long day setting fixtures up, it can wear you out. Guys, I gotta tell you, I, do, I, I love the way this thing is laid out. My two favorite things in this house are probably the shower. Like I said, I would add a rain shower in, maybe a second shower in. Yeah. Other than that, man, that thing is really, really nice to do. I like that. And the wrong and tub, the way they've got access to everything. Little details like that can make all the difference in the world. So, if y'all want to get out of here and leave me alone, I'm going to relax a little bit. It's been a long day. Tell them why. I'm already we're out. If y'all enjoyed this video, I definitely think you'll like this. <sighs> can I get a glass of champagne, please? Hello? Anybody?